it's only a matter of time before we finally find out the size of Tesla's battery packs in the new structural model Ys. Why? Here's why. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate your support. It's great to have you. We just hit just hit 70,000 subscribers. And yeah, it's been 12 months since we started the channel. It's great to have taken this journey with you. Tesla, well, they're on a pretty amazing journey themselves. Well, they've decided to do something which I think makes complete sense. How do they decide who gets Tesla Model Y vehicles that have a structural battery pack in 4680 cells first. Well, this is the way they've decided to do it. Reports have surfaced on social media that Tesla has sent out emails to Model Y reservation holders who live near Gigafactory, Texas, to tell them that if they want a Tesla Model Y with 4680 cells and a structural pack, then they can get one. However, for customers to do this, they would have to change their order and or choose an inventory model. The Tesla email states that the current Model Y reservation holders can change their orders to the brand new Model Y standard range with all-wheel drive, which features Tesla's 4680 battery cells and its new structural battery pack. It will be much, much lighter. I estimate by around 200 kilos. Why will it be so much lighter? The structural pack has lots of advantages and I've talked about those in my videos my previous videos, I'll put some links in the description to those videos. But that's one of the big advantages. However, the pack will be much smaller, right? Much lighter vehicle, more energy efficient cells and pack. It clearly is a smaller pack because it only has 279 miles of range. Now the first email we saw has been shared on social media and it came from Ganesh. He said, Official confirmation about Giga Texas Model Y, 279 miles of range and zero to 60 in five seconds. Now the email says, accelerate your Tesla Model Y delivery. It notes that the new Tesla Model Y all wheel drive has a range of 279 miles and zero to 60 in five seconds at zero to 100 kilometers an hour for you Aussies and people all over the world who use a metric system. However, it makes clear in the email, this configuration is only currently available to people who live near Gigafactory, Texas. Now, if you actually have a look at the inventory available, you can see that there's a few different models. One of them, 2022 Tesla Model Y, or will drive 61,000 US dollars. And that one has three miles on the odometer. There's another one on there, 62,000, has 25 miles on the odometer, and it appears to come standard with a tow hitch. So you pay $1,000 extra for the model with that tow hitch, but it has done 25 miles in terms of maybe demo miles, maybe it's been used as a test car. It's not very far though, 25 miles. Now there's another model on there, which is priced at $61,990. And that appears to be the same as the 60,990 version, but the price is $1,000 more. And I believe that's because it has 20 inch wheels. The 20 inch wheel model actually reduces the range by 10 miles. So yeah, I mean, if you really need 20 inch wheels, I suppose go for it. But personally, I think that's crazy. Get the 19 inch model to $1,000 cheaper and you're going to get 10 miles more range out of the car. Now, some people are saying that they're considering not choosing this new version because it has less range than the model they've ordered. And they don't like the price, apparently. Currently, the cheapest option on Tesla's website is the Model Y long range all wheel drive. That model costs $62,990 and it has 330 miles of range. So essentially, if you go from buying that version, right, you're getting a lot less range. You're getting about 50 miles less range. But that version is also going to be less efficient. So you will be paying more per mile in terms of energy use and cost. Personally, would which one would I get? It's a difficult question because I think that extra 50 miles of range is something that I would love to have. I'd probably have to stick with the standard model, personally. That said, I mean, if you're in a hurry to get the car, yeah, you'll be able to get it quicker if you want this new version. The other thing is you're going to save $2,000 US if you buy the new version as well. The other thing worth considering is will the resale value be higher for the newer version using 4680 cells? I mean, it could potentially be higher, but... Here's what I'm most fascinated to know. How is it that nobody actually knows the size of the battery pack in these new cars? 
If you know what it is, if you work at Tesla, please send me an email. Please write it in the comment section below. Let us all know. because I'm absolutely fascinated to know what the size of these packs are. I'm guessing it's quite a lot smaller than the Tesla Model Y all-wheel drive long range. But I'm assuming we'll find out very soon. Now, what I want to know is if you had an order in place or if you do have an order in place, which version would you get if given the choice, the new version or the old version? Thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.